Good evening, members of the board. I am speaking tonight on behalf of the members of the Cadillac Education Association. Looking around this building, I'm reminded of the last time that we were all here packing into this building, and that was just shy of a year ago when we were here to support you as you selected a new superintendent. We remember those meetings and your commitment to secure the best candidate to lead our district. We were in this room when the board made the phone call to offer the position to Jen Brown. There was excitement and opportunity in that moment. There was talk about mending fences and about investing in the future of our district. Two weeks ago at the January work session, the board was presented with the preliminary findings of the facility audit. In that meeting, the tone was again one of excitement and opportunity, albeit with some stress for the scope of the improvements that might be called for. It's exciting for us to be in a district that is looking to grow and progress. I know all of you, and I know you feel the responsibility for this district personally. I know that you are CAPS graduates, that you are parents of CAPS students, that you are part of our CAPS family. We too are members of that CAPS family. We feel a deep commitment and responsibility to CAPS. We're proud to work every day with the students and families of the Cadillac area. And we work our hearts out. We're at school in the evenings, on weekends, and even during summer and holiday recesses. We hit the back to school in the, in the Black Friday sales and use our own money to buy materials for our classrooms to ensure the success of every student in our district. We attend classes in professional development throughout the year and during the summer to provide an ex exceptional education for our kids. We provide a safe and secure environment for students who might not have it elsewhere. But beyond that, we light the spark of learning that changes a child's life and allows them to pursue their dreams. We believe in students, and so we ensure a high-quality education for each and every one, regardless of circumstances. What we do matters. One piece of evidence of that is before you at schools like Kenwood, where teachers have created a culture of learning and have had unprecedented improvement. Other schools across the state will be looking at Kenwood to see what our teachers have done and to see what happens when a district and an association work together to improve the quality of education. This is the difference that investing in educators makes. At previous board meetings, we've heard discussions about investing in technology upgrades and investing in buildings and investing in busing. Those are exciting discussions, and we're proud to work for a district that is in an excellent financial position to plan for progress. But technology, buildings, and buses do not make a school. People do. Real educators, truly dedicated professionals, the ones I work with and feel blessed to work with every single day in this district, use any moment and any space to teach a child. That's our investment. We all know from experience, from the moment any of us invests in a thing, that thing begins to depreciate. That's probably why we in this room answered a calling to be in the people business and not the thing business. Investing in people is guaranteed to appreciate. We are asking the board to invest in us and to empower the district to do the same. Thank you.